Hello YouTubers. I thought I'd share a little project I got going here. I uh, was just getting ready to paint it and I thought I should... Uh, I forgot about making a video of it but that's too late now. But anyway, my buddy Grant gave me this forge. It's a big old mother and uh, it came without a fire pot. It's been sitting outside his shop up in Cape Breton for several years. So I uh, I was going to buy a, it had a round hole cut in it and I was going to buy a Centaur Forge fire pot but I decided to to make one for it so here's the result of that. This is uh, this is the top view of it. It's approximately 13 by 13 and a half by 9 and it's about 5 inches deep. And I made a clinker breaker out of an old gear, weld on gear. And at the back end of it, when this is upside down the way it's supposed to be this the weight keeps it uh, keeps it closed let's see if you can see that yeah and uh, the clinker breaker just the weight of this keeps the clinker breaker straight and uh, I just welded some wings on it that's what holds it into the forge you just drop it in and this uh, this is where your air comes in and uh, that's your twir. So there you go. I'll throw some paint on it and stick it in the forge and update you later. There you go. Plan B. Oh, I welded most of that with uh, with a stick welder. So worked out pretty good. It's I used it on 110. It was. Uh, this little rig here. It's an Everlast 140 TIG and, TIG and stick. This little bag is a for a top of a ladder. Works great. You can leave it out of the, out of the case that covers it. Hold your gear. Plan B is in effect. But anyway, on 110, it welded pretty good. I mean, it welded a lot better if I knew how to weld, but did a fine job as far as I'm concerned. It's going to work. It's not bad for a gypsy. So after I get it painted and stuck in the forge, I'll give you a shout out. This screw here is to uh, tighten the air. I got an electric blower over there. You can see the the pipe hanging down. I'm gonna hook that into it. And I got wheels on it. The the smoke pipe is just a, bra a small piece of pipe that I push up inside if I want to move it to get it out of the way. Because I'm at uh, limited space in this shop. Believe me. So, uh, yeah, catch you on the flip side. So long for now. Here we go, YouTubers. This is the first fire. This is a controller off of a, a rotor, and it's got a, you just get it where you want it.
we'll keep it low. And there's a switch to shut it off. I'll show you what the uh, see if I can bring it in here. There you go. It's just a control with a rheostat and an on-off switch on it. And I have blowers in behind the forge there. And uh, there's your coal fire. Just a honking. I also built a. Well, actually, I didn't build it. I just attached it to the. It's off an old forge. It's a for handling long stock. Lift it up, and you got a piece of metal hanging there. And you can keep your metal in your fire with it having to stand here and hang on. There. And when you don't want to use it. Take it under, fold it down. There you go. Update on the forge. Thank my buddy Grant Haverstock for that. I'll have to send you a big how do there, Grant. All right, I'll be talking to you.